Hey everyone, it's Christy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today I'm bringing you a video that's been very long in the making. I can seem to be saying that a lot nowadays, I don't know why, probably because they're not really putting out many videos. But um, here we are, it's the uh, Convoy S2 Plus Copper. Well, right now it's just a box. This is that unboxing channel. And here we go. Copper S2 Plus. So... This is the light here, look at that, nice and shiny. We love it, don't we? It's actually called Light Night, Lit Knit. <laughs> hey, you're a Lit Knit, bud. <laughs> light Night, I don't know, because if it was light, you'd have an E, right? Litty Titty, who knows? But uh, it's not actually Convoy branded, but just so you know, you can still get them in the Convoy branding. I know some people had their uh, arms flailing about saying, oh, you fuck, you know. It's not even Convoy branded, but like it, it's still made by Simon. But the actual um, S2 Plus, so this copper, does look a little bit different to this one. Alright guys, so first thing first, I have to say it's a cool little light. It is pretty small. It is pretty heavy, but it does weigh 220 grams without the battery, I believe. Somewhere around about that mark. Um, one thing I do really like that stands out is whatever coating Simon used on top, the clear coat, it is pretty good, because I have handled this quite a few times, and you can see it still looks like it's pre pristine, I've had this now for months, and it still looks like pretty decent, um, one thing that I don't like, is that it comes with a clear tail cap, but no light in there by default, so that's kind of sucky, but um, I guess, you know, if you pay a little bit extra, or if you ask, or if you ask for the tail cap light, not your ass. If you ask um, Simon for the tail cap light, I'm sure he'll happily throw one in there for you. Um, basically, you buy these from Convoy Store, Simon, on AliExpress. I'll leave a link in their prescription. Um, you can get them with pretty much absolutely any LED. Like, literally, there is a whole freaking list of LEDs. XBLHI, SST40s, SST20s, Nishias, whatever you want, Simon will throw in there for you, and he'll give you a driver to match. Uh, my one is the Luminous SST40 in neutral white. So this is pretty good, like, output to color tint. Color-wise, it's pretty good, color tint. Um, I don't mind the cold white SST40s. Actually, I quite like the greenish, <coughs> the greenish tint that they've got. Um, that's not for everyone. I know some people might like the Nishias better. And I quite also like the uh, high CRI warm white SST20s too. Not sure if I like them more than the Nishias, but I quite like the tint. So my one is that. So you can even get them for next in L2. Wow, I wrote that all down. Um, my one has the Biscotti firmware, which has now been changed to Biscuit firmware on this driver. This is the 5 amp driver, so you should be getting about 1800 lumens uh, out of the um, SST40. You'll be getting a little bit less out of the other LEDs, but you'll be getting like a better CRI. And maybe, arguably, a better tint. I quite like this neutral white, 5000K, anyway. So, each to their own. Um, so, you can get it with a smooth or an OP reflector. So, you can see my one is... What's my one? The smooth. I don't think I actually had this option when I brought mine. I just asked him to build it, and he built it. So, yeah. Um, and, so I guess, you know, you can ask for AR coated glass and whatever you want. Um... Probably the most other important thing to ask for would be the driver. You can get the 3 amp driver, you can get the 5 amp driver. I'm pretty sure this 5 amp driver is the one that has the uh, temperature control. So if it heats up to 55 degrees, the driver will step down. It's got no visible PWM, 5, five amps max. Um, you can undo, well not undo, you can probably bridge the solder and get rid of the, um, the thermostat. Or the MP, what would it be? MPC or whatever controls the temperature, you can get rid of that feature so it doesn't step down at uh, 55 de degrees. Um, that isn't programmable. It would be good if you could program it to change the uh, temp. Maybe you can if you've got a little like a dongle, but you can't do it by the light itself. So yeah, um, we'll take it apart. Nothing really special to see in here. Um, it still has a brass pill, which is okay because the light is so, so heavy still. Um, the threads don't really come lubed, I think. Well, they actually know they are, but the lube doesn't last that long. Uh, also, the problem with the lube is if you use the wrong one, it'll take off the coating 
off the light. That's the front there. Um, I could take it the whole way apart, but there's not really much to see. And you can see it's got AR coating on it. So, you know, you might as well just take this outside and see how it p performs. It's actually it's super, super bright. It's really cool. But I'm going to wash my hands and put this away after I do this video so it doesn't get tarnished. Alright guys, now we're outside with the Copper S2 Plus. You can see it's on, but it's on like a moonlight mode, which is super, super low. It's like enough, you know, to read your watch or whatever. Uh, we'll go upper mode. You guys probably still can't see it, but you can see it's on when I'm shining it there. Um, up one more mode. So the thing about this Biscotti driver is it's got um, 12 mode groups with all different modes inside those 12 mode groups. So I'm not even sure what one I've got mine on yet because this has been living inside a box because I don't want to tarnish it. I want it to stay nice and pretty. But if you're going to use yours, uh, I'll definitely go through all the modes. Um, I'll leave a link. When I leave the link to the light, I'll leave the link um, so you can check out all the different mode groups that it offers. You can also buy these drivers without the light too, which I just bought some from Fast Tech the other day. Well, a few weeks ago now and they're still shipping. So we'll go up. That's probably not the highest, but that is super bright. Should be one more mode, I think, after this. If you guys look, you can see we've got a closed line again. But it's one of the old school type ones. It doesn't fold, fold up after the last one broke. And one more. So this is direct drive mode now. Or well, it's direct drive, but it's limited to 5 amps. So yeah. Um, obviously, being 8 degrees outside right now and um, being made of pure copper... Um, the um, S2 Plus right now can last quite a while on its highest mode, so yeah, we can leave it like this and you won't see any step down for quite a while. I believe this mode has two more modes after this, some sort of flashy and some sort of blinky that I always think is off and I look at it and it makes me blind. So there we go. It's got this, this is like a bike mode, I believe, and this one, like a beacon. Oh, actually, it might be SOS. I don't even know. Let's cycle back through. So we will compare it. Oh, I went too far. So we will compare it to a few other lights and uh, see how it does. It's super bright stock anyway. All right, guys. Last but not least, this is the uh, C8. Ah, oh, the C8. What the frig am I saying? The Convoy S2 Plus copper. And over here to the right, we have a triple Convoy. Uh, SST20 is here and the SST40 there. So you can definitely see the difference in the tint. The uh, neutral white tint is obviously a not, lot nicer on the um, uh, Copper S2 Plus compared to the uh, cold white here. But performance wise, yeah, the triple does still win. But it doesn't do too too bad actually o o overall. Side by side, they're pretty good. Alright guys, on to the left here, we've got the uh, Copper S2 Plus with the SSD40. And to the right here, we've got the uh, BLF A6 of the XHP 50.2. I'm mm. um, not sure which one's brighter, but I like them both. Obviously, the uh, copper light isn't that EDC friendly, as your pants may fall down, and you may embarrass yourself in public. But it does handle heat a lot better than the uh, BLF A6, obviously. So that's the um, BLF A6 there, on its highest mode. The battery might be getting a little bit flat because I do use this light every single day. And here is the uh, S2 Plus Copper with the SST40. So yeah, um, overall this is a great, great light. It's got great hardware in it. The driver's good. You know, you could push out a few more amps. You could probably get it to 2,200 lumens. I know some people say you can't push a SST40 that far, but I've seen it with my own, own eyes. They do reach that, that high, a little bit higher actually. Um, so it's all up to you. you, you know, you can mod the driver, but uh, overall with the neutral white tint and whatnot, it's a great looking light, it is bloody heavy, but you expect that because it is made out of copper, it's solid, it won't break, it's good at heat dissipation, and you know, you can show your friends that you got a fancy light at a pretty good price, and it cost about 40 US dollars, so I'll leave a link in the description and you guys can check it out, and as always guys, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, like and subscribe, thanks guys.